You know what they say, another Blender version, another OBJ video. So here's how to import OBJs in Blender 3.4 and up. I can never get this video right, so this video is going to involve all of the common problems and mistakes you may run into when importing an OBJ. First and foremost, make sure your OBJ is an OBJ, so you can check the file extension. In Windows, you can click on the file name extensions box to show the file type, and I don't really know for Apple. I'm sure it's even more complicated though. Now let's open Blender and obliterate the default cube. I don't make the rules, you just have to do it. Now to import OBJs, go to File, Import, and if you're using a new version of Blender, you'll see the option for Legacy and Experimental OBJ Import. The new Experimental Importer is written with C++ instead of Python and is much faster than Blender's Legacy Importer. If your mesh doesn't look right after importing, use the Legacy one instead. One of the biggest questions I got in the last video is how do I apply the textures after I've imported my OBJ? Each case is different, but here's some guidelines to stick by. Blender's principal shader handles most OBJs the way they're supposed to be handled. So with Blender's built-in Node Wrangler add-on enabled, you can click on the principal node, hold control, shift, and press T to have your nodes applied to the principal node automatically after you select them. If you don't know how to install or enable add-ons, here's a video for that. If your textures aren't looking right, it could be the shading, so make sure Node Wrangler placed your textures in the right slots. For example, the diffuse is going into the base color, the roughness into the roughness, and the normal into the normal. If you have any other textures, it's the same thing. If your model's textures look scattered and out of place, it's most likely a UV issue. So make sure your UVs weren't moved from the original position, and maybe try the legacy OBJ importer. Scale is the second biggest problem I see with importing OBJs, and especially if they're straight from a another program like Blockbench or Dimension. And to be honest guys, I have absolutely no idea how to fix this, but there is a workaround. If you need your file to be a specific dimension, you can export, and even if it isn't the right dimension when you import back into Blender, you can use Blender scale and dimension tools to make sure it's the right dimension. Now I have mentally, physically, and emotionally prepared for all the comments that are gonna say, oh, I followed your steps and it still doesn't work and blah, 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 it does but you might be using the wrong OBJ, which is why I included one of my own personal Blender Dojo OBJs in the description down below. That way you can download that one, and if it imports correctly into your Blender scene, then the OBJ you're using must be different than mine. Sometimes it's just the OBJs, and if you use another one, it works just fine. So I recommend that you go through all these steps. If it still isn't working, use mine and see if it works. Consider it a Christmas or a New Year's gift from me to you. Have a good day now.